Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Zio and in this video I'm going to talk about our Shrek games for the GBA. Shrek wreaking havoc is awesome, even the presentation is great. Lord Farquaad has escaped the cemetery and has hypnotized various inhabitants of fairy tale land. Pinocchio is attacking villagers with his spear-like nose, the big bad wolf has locked up the three little pigs and you play as either Fiona or Shrek and beat some sense into anyone who's gone mad. The game is a platformer beat'em up. The game has 6 locations, the graphics are cute and the gameplay is fun. Some reviewers say that it's repetitive. Well, it doesn't feel repetitive. I mean, you have brawling levels and occasional bosses to spice things up. I had fun playing the game. I would recommend it to anyone. Shrek Swamp Card Speedway is your average card game for the GBA, at first glance but is the unofficial record holder for the second worst card controls for a GBA game. I mean, as the wiki article states, the game has been heavily criticized for its bad controls, handling and overall sluggishness. It is highly regarded as one of the worst IP-based racing games, only taking second place to another notorious game, M&M's Kart Racing. So from this description you already know the drill. <laughs> oh, and you get 12 playable characters. Shrek Smash and Crash Racing is another bad racing game for the GBA. It's an isometric race game. If you watched other reviews of mine you already know how I don't like isometric racing games, but this one manages to make the experience even worse. Since character vehicles are animated, it's hard to judge the direction as the characters have animations and make steering more confusing, and the camera is too close to judge curves correctly. Shrek 2 Back for Mercy might look more like a Java game than a GBA game considering the poor graphics, but it's an okay platform. Ok, I have to admit that the 3D-ish main characters and enemies save the game, but you have to admit that the backgrounds look closer to a Java game than a GBA game. The GBA is more capable than this. In this game, as I said, you do platforming and you beat up enemies. You know the formula, it's the same in almost every GBA game. And in this one you get to play with Puss in Boots, Shrek and Donkey. So if you're a fan of Shrek, and I think you are since you watched this video, I recommend it again. It's fun. The usual platformer on GBA, but still fun. Shrek Hustle at the Castle is similar to the first game reviewed in this video, but it's less fun. This time you play with Shrek, Fiona and Donkey, and it's still a platformer bra brawler, but it's not as fun. I found the boss battles to be less exciting and sometimes even annoying, and some animations look cheap. And the escort missions were annoying, like escort missions usually are. And some level designs were stupid. The controls felt clunky, but the game works out and has occasional nice little details that make the game better. And occasionally, it's a good game, but I wouldn't recommend it. Shrek Super Slam is the Super Smash Bros game we never got on the GBA. While playing the game you get the same awesome feel as in Super Smash Bros. Plus Shrek can fart as an attack and I give him points for that. Also occasionally weapons or potions fall into the level. But the gameplay is different to Super Smash. It has its own originality. You have to punch your opponents till you fill your fairy dust meter. And then you activate that meter and turn your normal attacks into super slam attacks that deal more damage and you slam your opponent so hard that it causes a lot of mayhem. The GB version has 21 playable characters, the most playable characters out of all the versions and there are 16 battle stages. The game even has a story, I recommend the game, it's awesome. Shrek the Third is another awesome game, it's a platformer brawler, and a really good one. As playable characters you get Shrek, Donkey, Puss in Boots and Arthur, and during the playthrough you will see all the combinations, meaning that you will play with only one character, or in a two-man squad, or a three-man squad. The platforming and puzzles are creative, there are easter eggs in the game, and lots of nice little details, and hidden secrets. 
it's responsive and the game is just great. I loved the game. This is the game I also recommend anyone to play. Shrek the Third is a good example of a GBA game well done. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.